Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Bartholomew Hornswoggle Escalation taking place in Haven Island. It's the Haven Island's first escalation and it's a pretty... Uh, it's alright. It's not bad. Um, but uh, for the first level, it's completely different to the level 2 and 3, but first level we have to retrieve all the pieces of the map, uh, uh, the treasure map that is, and that's pretty much it for level 1. So, for level 1 equipment, this is the sort of what I decided to go with. The Camel 1 Tranquilizer to take out the Captain. We're going to bring along a pistol because we need to shoot a bottle, which we're going to have that stored in a briefcase. I'm going to use a lockpick to get into the security room. So when we start straight away, I'm going to pull the, uh, the silence pistol out of the, the, uh, the suitcase. The suppressed pistol, I should say. You can use any of them as well. Like, I need to pick the Kruger by it because it's my favourite out of all the pistols, I suppose. But uh, we are going to go for the map in the security room first. You probably don't even, need, don't even need a guide for level 1 because it's telling you where all the pieces are anyway. Um, I think it's actually one of, part of the, one of the challenges as well, but I'm not sure if challenges unlock in escalations. So we're going to use the lockpick on the security room and the piece of treasure map is going to be on the, uh, the notice board. Uh, the next one we are going to go for is the one that's being held by the captain. And he's going to be up by the, uh, the bar. So if you know where that is, it's just up over here. So I'm just going to go around this hedge up here, go up the stairs. This is the, this is the reason why I brought along the tranquilizer too. We can take him out and then quickly go and grab the piece of map that he dropped on the floor. So we're going to wait for that woman to walk away first. Then I'm going to pull out the tranquilizer. Just make sure no one's looking at you at all while you're doing this. Because if it's got a yellow meter, then obviously you are going to get spotted. So just make sure no one's looking at you. Pick up the, the piece of map that he dropped on the floor. His body is obviously found, but because you're using a trank, it don't matter. Because usually that's a good thing about the tranquilizer. Once they get knocked out, they will immediately drop anything that they was holding in the first place. So the final piece is going to be uh, by the sea, and that's going to be over by the mansion. So we need to go over there first. We don't actually need the briefcase anymore. I don't know why I'm still carrying it. Guess I just don't like dropping stuff, I suppose. But to get across the mansion uh, over there, the other side... The easiest best bet to do is getting past these two guards here, just running past them into these bushes. And there's going to be a piece of scaffolding here, you just want to climb up on it and then jump over the wall. Nice convenient little gap to get into the mansion area. And we're just going to basically stay in these bushes, stay crouched, because there's a couple of people by the bar and they could, uh, they could see you. So just be careful for them. So the bottle is going to be just behind this... Uh, all this wood here so you can kind of shoot that grab the final piece of the map and we need to go and dig up the pirate booty we are going to go and get ourselves a disguise first as well because there is no disguise just restrictions for level one so we're going to wait for that woman there in the bikini to go actually go and sit down before we subdue this guy because that's um make sure we don't get spotted there that's the reason why i waited so i'm just going to go ahead and subdue him leave his body there and take his disguise and we're just taking this disguise because then it's just no risk that they when you come over here in this area over here. I mean, we're not going too far into the island, it's just underneath over here. So we do need to come get a shovel as well. But if you've already done this in the main mission, so you should already be rec already be familiar with this stuff anyway. So I'm just looking for the shovel, where is it now? Oh yeah, it's by that tree. Right next to it. So you just want to go ahead and dig that up. And the booty that's inside is the buccaneer suits and the... Um, well, you don't need to pick up the disguise, but... It's essentially the um, the sword that you need. So whatever is got a red exclamation mark, that's what you want to go and pick up. You don't need the doubloons, I don't think. But we are going to put that guard's disguise back on, because there's no restrictions to that. And then we're just going to head straight to the exit now, which is going to be the plane, the seaplane. So no risks here. Easy silent assassin, even though we didn't have to actually take anyone out. But that will all change in level 2. Is it this side? No, it's the other side. There we go. So there's no real uh, issues there with level 1. I don't see how you can go wrong, especially when you're not even taking uh, taking anyone out. So you're just uh, you're literally knocking out one guard. That's pretty much it. There's no way, there's no reason to actually fail level 1 unless you go around on a gun shooting spree. 
But yeah, that's an easy start on Assassin for level 1. So let's go ahead and move on to level 2. Level 2, we have a restricted loadout now, and we can't change the disguises from the start location, and we have to kill 8 targets with the trusted Saber. So once we from the, uh, comes up from the very start, we're going to take out this guard right here. And we're going to drag his body and hide them in the bushes. Once we've done that, we're just going to go underneath this area here. We're going to take out the two guards that's just standing over here. We're going to take out the guard on the left first, because that's just how I've always done it. So I think if you take the guard out on the right, uh, the left guard shoot first. And that's not what we want, because we don't want to attract any uh, attention. We're going to pick up the coin and pick up the, uh, the set of keys that are on the floor. And pick up this gas canister. What we're actually doing now is waiting for a guard and the target to run past us. And we're actually going to take the guard out with the gas canister and then take out this target here with the, the sword. Retrieve the sword and then throw the sword at this guard's head. So that'll be five targets down. Next we need to go and knock out this woman. So she's, there's going to be a piece of driftwood on the floor. Just go ahead and pick that up and throw it at her head. Knock her out. And then finally pick it up back up, and then we need to go and take out these three remaining guards here. We can't just bomb rush them. We need to wait for that guard at the back to actually turn around and then walk away. And then we're going to throw this driftwood at the guard in the middle. And then pull out the sword and take out the guard on the left. Do this real quick. And throw the sword at the guard in the middle. Retrieve the sword, and then hide behind this crate. The guard is going to turn around. He is going to see the bodies. And uh, what that's, but that's exactly what we want. We want him to see the bodies, and we want him to come over here uh, as quick as possible. And then we're going to go around and throw this buccaneer sword at his head. So once you've uh, threw the sword at his head, that will clear the uh, the sort assassin rating. So you should turn green, and then we can head straight to the scooter over here. Again, making sure that we picked up the uh, the water scooter keys a little bit earlier on. If you didn't pick them up, uh, it will be on the body of uh, Stephen, the guy in the uh, the guy that was running around, because he has another set of keys. So there's two set of keys there that you could have picked up. So there's one next to the coins and one on his body. So that's a relatively straightforward uh, Sonic Assassin for level two as well. Level three gets a little bit more different, so we have to change up our strategy a little a little bit. And uh, we have two extra people to take out. I think it's not a bad strategy. So, like I said, for level three, we have two additional targets and we have to take them both out with a cannon. So from the very start, there's going to be a, cannon, a couple of cannons spawning on the island. So we're going to take out this guard first by throwing the sword out of his head, pick up the shotgun, and then drag his body into the bushes. Drop the shotgun in the bushes along with the body, and retrieve the sword. Pick up the cannonball and pick up uh, the uh, uh, the explosive compound, and then throw the cannonball at this woman's head. Quickly pick up the cannonball and drag her body into the bushes. Now we can leave her there, and then we're going to walk around this edge here, and uh, we're going to throw the cannonball at this guy's head as well. We're just removing any kind of uh, witnesses and stuff. We're not going to put him in the, in the freezer, we're just, just going to kick him over the ledge. But I suppose it doesn't really matter. But once we've uh, still got our cannonball in our hands, there's going to be a guard over here, he's going to be uh, bending over and he's going to be panting. So we're just going to pull out our uh, saber and this gives us the opportunity to throw it at his head again. Pick up the gun. And then drag the body with the sword in his head into the bushes. Drop the, uh, the machine gun and then pick up the, uh, the sword out of his head. And then uh, grab that cannonball as well. Now we're going to take out these two guards as well real quick. Make sure they don't see you until the last moment. Because we do not want them to shoot. As soon as they shoot, they're going to alert the entire island. So we just need to make sure that we take them back, both out real quick. Then hide their, both their bodies into the bushes along with their weapons as well. The reason why we're hiding the weapons is because we don't want uh, Steven to 
find his weapons when he's running around the island. But it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because we're going to take him out momentarily anyway. So we're four targets down for the uh, saber kills. Steven and his guard is going to be up here, so we're just going to jump up here real quick. Take out his guard with the saber. Hide his body in the crate real quick. And then throw the sword at Steven's head. There's no point retrieving his keys this time because we uh, are going to blow that scooter up a little bit later on. So there really is no need for it. So we're just going to hide his body as well. So we have two targets left we have to take out with the sword and two targets we have to take out with the cannon. These two guys on the scooter, they don't actually move around from their area. And these two targets at left are going to be very easy to take out. So once we've taken those two guys out first, we're going to take out the people with the scooters. So what we're going to do with one of the cannonballs, we're going to throw it at the guard at the, uh, the back's head first. And then we're going to get this guard in front of us to turn around and then we're going to take him out with, take both of them out with the sword. And you'll see what I mean. So, just going to wait for him to turn around. Screw it. Throw the guard, throw the ball at his head and then pull out the saber, take out the guard, and then throw the saber at his head. We're just going to hide both bodies uh, just in case that explosion does potentially actually um get anyone looking over this island we don't want to see these bodies like sprawling out all over the beach we don't want anyone to be rushing over here or anything like that it's just a precaution it's not 100 percent necessary but uh, i like to be clean so finally we have the two people on the jet skis so what we're actually going to do first is take out uh which one do we take out first i think it was no, he's already going around in the jet ski. I'm going to load it up anyway. So, we're just going to take out this guy first. So, load your explosive compound, or whatever it's called. And put the cannonball in there as well. And once he's at the furthest point, that's when you want to go ahead and fire. And you'll get an accident kill for that. It's not alerted anybody, so that's all, we're all good to go at this point. Now we're just going to use this cannon and wait for this guard over here. Well, not a guard, but the, this uh, target to actually start moving so we can take him out. It's all about timing with this one, but it, the window is quite uh, a, quite a large window, so... You should be relatively straightforward when taking out these targets. So just before they pass in front of the cannon, that's when you want to go and fire it. And uh, yeah, all we've got to do at this point is just head straight to the exit, which is going to be the seaplane once again. And it's a nice, easy silent assassin for level 3. It's obviously a little bit more tricky than level 2 because of these two additional people just ramming around. So uh, I think this strategy is a little bit better in the level 2 actually as well, I think. But overall... It's, um, for what it is, it's actually a decent escalation, um, for what it is. I mean, yeah, we do have to take out ten people, I mean, I, but I understand why, because it's like, like a pirate themed and all that kind of stuff based around the saber and the cannons and stuff like that, so I'll give them uh, plaudits for that, but uh, other than that, it was alright. There's the Bar Bartholomew horn swoggle, and that's a silent assassin for level three, so completing this escalation, I'm not sure you have, you have to get a silent assassin to get the suit, but... You do get the Buccaneer suit, which is that pirate outfit which we use throughout the escalation. And that is going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out, and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to Finn Parkinson, RGL, and The Shafe for becoming the top tier Psycho Assassin members of the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.